we are devotional creatures. We need to be devoted to something. If you are defined by what you are devoted to, you're devoted to the most beautiful thing that is. What is that? What is the most beautiful thing that is? It's the planet Earth. Be devoted to that. The Gnostics actually perceived the center of the galaxy through their mystical powers and their ability as shamans. And what they saw was that it consists of a kind of nougat, pure, beautiful, opalescent currents, white, primarily white, but as these currents move, they have opalescent and rainbow colors in them. So the story of Sophia is about one of these aeons and about her particular involvement in an experiment. And this was the Gnostic conception of our galaxy. The source of life is at the galactic core and life is seeded in the limbs of our galaxy. Sophia's impact in the galactic limbs, because she is an animated living being impacting in organic material, brought it to life. As the Gnostics understood it, Sophia took the lead to imagine a species. And she created this species in her own imagination as a goddess, according to her liking. About it was that it was playful. And so she gave it, when she designed the species in her mind, she gave it enormous latitude to play. That this myth is sophisticated and beautiful in its sophistication. And I think the appeal of it is, is in that beauty and sophistication. And it has a number of sophisticated points, one of which is the Archon factor. And they're what we call, what we call ETs. The Gnostic creation myth contains the oldest and best explanation of the origin of ETs.